The beauty of Bharatanatyam has been continuously evolving since decades, leading to the emergence of various styles of classical dance forms. Musicologists and danceologists of eminence migrated from several parts of South India to make Mysore royal court an epicenter of music and dance. They developed the art of dance into a refined form which later came to be known as Mysore Bharatanatyam. The Mysore style of Bharatanatya predominantly developed during the rule of Mysore warriors. Some of the great dancers who contributed enormously into the field of classical dance forms for decades are Muguru Amrutappa, Muguru Subarna, Mysuru Dasappa, Ejaman Kolar Kittana, Jetti Tayama, and many more prestigious dances. The four major traditions that evolved during this period are Muguru tradition, Nanjungu tradition, Mysore tradition, Kolar tradition. Nanjungu tradition is one of the major traditional dance evolved during the glorious periods of classical dance in the history of Mysore. Until recently, Guru Natya Charya Bharatakala Pravina V.S. Kaushik carried on Nanjungud Parampari in the form of performances, lectures, and lecture demos. His choreography to Devara Namas were special and a feast to the art lovers. And Bharatakala Manishri C. Radha Krishna has been exploring the compositions found in the manuscript bequeathed by Yajaman Kolar Kittana and has been the Pradhanacharya of Kaishiki Nativahini. Kaishiki Nativahini is one of the prestigious school of Bharatanatyam, predominantly rooted in the Nanjangur and Kola traditions with an objective of emphasizing on the holistic development of the students. Namaste. Welcome to Museum's present story of success. I am Rudila. Bharatanatyam is the blend of Bhava, Raga, Tala, Natya and Abhinaya. And it is one of the dignified way of expressing an art. In this episode, we will introduce you to one of the elegant Bharatanatyam dancer who has the tremendous understanding of Tala, rhythmic pattern, Laya, rhythm, bhava, emotion and saundarya, grace. A person whose exceptional thoughts will definitely drive you towards the insight of an artist's life. The beautiful dancer Vidushi Shruti Narasimhan. I believe that beauty is everywhere. Art is everywhere. All we need is the eye to see and the mind to appreciate it. Dance for me is the way to connect to myself and in turn connect to God. of Guru Dr. Srimati Mala Shashikan and the disciple of Bharata Kalamani Sri C. Radha Krishna. She started learning Bharatanatyam at the very tender age of three and gave her first stage performance at the age of three and has never looked back since then. Shruti has been trained under the guidance of Guru Srimati Pushpa Suresh in Saudi Arabia. Having returned to India, she has been trained under the guidance of Guru Dr. Mala Shashikan. She has completed Vidvat in Bhatanatyam and continues to seek the guidance of her Guru. Dr. Srimati Mala Shashikant is a director of Kaishiki Natyavahini and has received a doctorate from the prestigious Bangalore University for her thesis on Karnataka Bharatanatya Parampari. Dr. Srimati Mala Shashikant has done a thorough and detailed study, research, and brought to light the importance of Karnataka Parampari, and has written a book called Paramparadhara, 
based on the evolution and growth of dance art in Karnataka. So let's know more about Vidushi Shruti Narasimhan. Hello Shruti. Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to Museums and welcome to our new project Story of Success. Bharatnatyam is one of the beautiful art form and you are also one of the beautiful dancer. So what inspired you to learn this art? From a very young age I was passionate about dance. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happened because I was three when uh, I started dancing. Okay. So probably I saw a few dancers uh, on stage and uh, I was inspired too. And, and I forced my mom to put me into a dance class. After a lot of persuasion, she put me into one. And of course, after that, no stopping. My parents have been supportive and. Um, Till, till date, I am performing because of them. So, all thanks to them. Yes, that's, that's great. I know uh, parents are the backbone. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's true. Come across so far in this art form, and you need to balance your professional and personal life. So, how do you do that? Well, um, of course, this wouldn't be possible without uh, all my support systems like my parents, my sister, my in-laws, my husband. Uh, without them, it wouldn't have been possible. And yes, of course, not to forget my son. So, yes, they help me concentrate. When I am in dance class, I concentrate only on class. I don't have to think about home and what's happening back there. So, in, in a way, since I have that security in my mind, I, I think, yes, they are, they are definitely the reason why I am uh, You're able, to, able to balance yes. that. So, you can peacefully concentrate on the art form. Yeah, yes. Answer. Her body is the uh, most important way of expression. Without this, if this does not listen to her mind, then of course uh, there is stress that comes into picture. I regularly practice yoga because different bhavas, different uh, bhavas need different breathing techniques. I practice uh, pranayama. I encourage my students to indulge in yoga and uh, pranayama and meditation and um, in fact the first few minutes the first 15 to 20 minutes of my class is dedicated to yoga and exercises so this is how it helps me uh, reduce my stress level Uh, you might have faced a lot of challenges and you might have solved it. So what is that uh, few uh, challenges that an upcoming artist might face in this kind of art form and how to overcome them? Budding artists, the, the, the youngsters of now times, uh, they are uh, attracted more towards uh, western culture and western music and uh, western dance forms that they are forgetting the substance, the importance of our dance form. So it will be a nice refreshing uh, change for us to uh, see more youngsters encouraging and parents especially encouraging uh, this kind of art form. And uh, maybe one more thing would be minor setbacks like while dancing their leg is paining or while uh, performing uh, uh, on stage they forgot some steps and uh, maybe a teacher scolded them because uh, they are not doing properly. So these minute things, because of these minute things, there are possibilities that they give up on dancing. Uh, well, for all of this, of course, I would suggest that uh, all the teachers and uh, parents and all the, the inner social circle of the uh, student would encourage them to pursue this as they are uh, a hobby and then maybe later uh, encourage them to take this as an 
art songs. So when they focus and they are quite dedicated in this, only then I think they can go ahead. passion towards this art form and her spectacular stage performances have been recognized by the press as well. Here are some of the articles published. My philosophy of life is that there is no shortcut to success and continuous training is the only way to achieve your goals. Well, um, for a senior artist, my respect and my humbleness uh, for a junior artist, my support and guidance. Is there any one artist that you would like to perform with or collaborate in any event? Uh, I am open to collaborating with anyone. Keep the traditional boundary as their base and uh, experimenting with this would be whom I would definitely like to collaborate with. Okay. Yeah. So it may be anyone, but whoever is interested in art and they know the foundation, they have a strong foundation that is yes. required. Yes, that's true. And experimenting, experimenting mm -hmm. it in a new way. Yeah, maybe that's what yes. I'd like to collaborate on. That, that's beautiful. One would be patience, because this art form takes a lot of time to master, and without the time you give to it, you will not be able to achieve success. Secondly would be dedication, devoting yourself to this art form would open many many doors for you for success. Thirdly would be discipline, without discipline we wouldn't be able to get what we want. So I would suggest the artists to follow these few. Vidushi Shruti Narasimhan has given performances in many prestigious events and gatherings like Ankuram, Indian Institute of World Culture, Parampara Dhara, Suraj Kund, annual cultural festival organized by Government of India, Delhi, to name a few. Shruti has given dance performances internationally, International Cultural Festival, International Food and Dance Festival organized by City Winston-Salem, North Carolina, USA, India Day Celebrations organized by IUCA, Winston-Salem, and Saudi Arabia. For me, fame is a very humbling experience. It helps me to, inspires me to do more and practice more and do better. Oh!
I draw inspiration from many. A few are Natya Charya Vidwan V.S. Kaushik Sir for his selfless contribution in making people understand the connection between yoga, Vedas and dance. Also to mention Bharata Kalamani C. Radha Krishna Sir and Guru Srimati Dr. Mala Shashikant Ma'am in promoting the Karnataka Parampara in various national and international forums. A beautiful, talented student of mine has been with me in Kaishiki for more than 15 years. As I watch closely Shruti's interest in dance during her post-Vidvat period, I found her approach towards this divine art was very very deep felt very happy and proud about this i wish her all the best to continue further in this field and bring credits to karnataka parampara her family and also kaishiki admiration of beauty, gracefulness, traditional behavior and admiration to our culture and respect towards our culture. Shruti teaches Bharat Natyam in USA. Shruti's students have given many dance performances in the city of Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Charlotte, Raleigh, Durham on various occasions. One thing would be my eagerness to gain knowledge because I am very greedy when it comes to gaining knowledge. 
the knowledge not just about um, trivial and uh, textbook knowledge by knowledge I mean how I need to teach a particular student some students uh, I need to say it strictly some some students even if I say softly they understand and different techniques of teaching each and every individual is different the same way when I am dancing uh, for each and every um, word of the Kriti, how, how can I show my emotion and how different I can show it and what are the intricacies involved in it, how I can differentiate is what I would, uh, is the kind of knowledge that I would like to gain. Certifications and Credentials of Vidushi Shruti Narasimhan Completed Junior, Senior and pre vidwat and Vidwat exams conducted by KSEEB, Government of Karnataka. Given her Ranga Pravesha in the year 2008, holds a Bachelor's of Engineering degree in Computer Science, won the runners-up for the Triad Dance Competition held in Jan 2018 in Greensboro, North Carolina. Apart from dance, um, I do a lot of reading. Reading, like I said before, to gain knowledge and uh, it can be of any forms and uh, mostly health based reading is what I do. Describe your journey of dance till now. How was it? <laughs> uh, it's been quite some time now since I started when I was three years old. Since my father got uh, um, uh, transferred to Saudi Arabia, so uh, there also I found a teacher, uh, and there also I used to pursue uh, my dance as uh, a hobby, of course. And um, then later, when I came back to uh, Bangalore, I had to switch a few teachers, uh, maybe because. Uh, they were really far or I was not able to connect with them. Um, then uh, after which I found uh, my present guru, Dr. Mala Shashi Khan. And uh, in her guidance and in her support, I did my Arangetram in 2008. And uh, after which uh, I took up all the uh, exams and Karnataka state exams. And um, now after completing my post with birth, I still feel uh, there is a lot to learn and um, now I'm able to understand the uh, intricacy of the Abhinaya and uh, how I can enjoy and uh, uh, involve in the character that I am doing. Uh, now I am able to uh, understand and uh, appreciate it. So um, saying all this, of course, my journey has just started. I just know a drop in the ocean. So uh, yeah. There's a long way to go. Long way to go. Yes. That you have come already so far and you think there's a long way to go. Yes, yeah, there's definitely a long way to go. That one word that describes you as an artist. Disciple. I would always remain a disciple to this art form because there's always something new to learn and always something to experiment on. And um, because of this, I would always be a disciple throughout. <laughs> because you are so dedicated to it, that is the key point. You are so dedicated to the art form. We really thank you so much for taking your time out for Museats and being a part of our new project that's called Story of Success. Thank so, you. we with the team of Museats uh, wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. And uh, wish you all the success and luck in this world. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank much. you. The content credit of Karnataka Parampari goes to Dr. Mala Shashikan, director of Kaishiki Natyavahini. Every artist has an artistic language to express their journey in the world of art. The melody of thoughts tuned with the rhythm of expressions. 
Her dedication towards this art is tremendous. The divine beauty of this art has the power to reach the inner soul. Her esteemed thought of being a disciple to this art form all her life is truly appreciable. And thus, this is the successful story of an elegant and beautiful Bharatanatyam dancer, Vidushi Shruti Narasimhan. Thank you for watching Musia's present story of success. I am Ridhila. Namaste. My message to the audience is to encourage this art form. Your support for a budding and upcoming artist is very valuable and goes a long way in shaping the artist's future.